Hey guys, welcome to AndroidDevices.com and in this video we're going to show you how you could update your Samsung Galaxy S2 to the official Indian Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3 firmware. This is the official firmware because it's the one which is going to be launched soon but it's not yet available directly through the Samsung Keys application which is the reason we'll be implementing this tutorial and showing you how you could install this on your phone. In order to get started, you need to ensure that you have backup all your important data on your phone using the app options which you have mentioned in the article that's under sms contacts call log and other options once you have performed the same you need to ensure that you have a minimum of 80 percent battery on your phone to ensure that the phone does not go dead while the update is being processed and then once you are ready with this you need to Go to the settings under applications development usb debugging you would find that the option is unchecked you need to check it and then you are ready to go to perform the next step you need to proceed towards the part two of the article which is mentioned here where you need to download the package so let us just start downloading this package onto the PC and then proceed with the installation. So here the files are downloaded uh, which you have to extract and once you extract you get these two files on your PC. One is the OD file and there is the .md5 based file. To proceed you need to first get the phone into the download mode which is actually done after shutting down your phone for which you need to first power off the device. <coughs> Once the phone is in the power off state, you need to press the volume down key and the home key. The tutorial for which is shown here. You need to hold the volume down button and the home key and then switch on the device. Once you do that, you get a warning which says that the custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and install applications. Do you want to proceed? Then press the volume up key. And if you want to cancel, press the volume down key. Let's, in order to proceed, we'll press the volume up key. Now the phone is in the download mode, following which you need to proceed. For which you need to connect the phone to the PC using the micro USB cable. Once you are done with that, the phone, the system would start searching for drivers and once it's done, you need to run the Odin application which you have received in the download package. You would see that the color of this area has actually turned up yellow. Next, you need to go to the article and then read the steps mentioned here. Here it's clearly mentioned that you need to select the PDA file option and the select the file which you earlier downloaded and then press on the start key. So let's go here, select the PDA option and select the file which we had downloaded. Once you are ready, click on the start button. The firmware update process would initial would start off. As you can see, the progress would be shown here in the query log. Sometimes the Odin application would also hang up but again that's normal you don't have to worry and you just have to wait for a few minutes and in the main uh, due course of time you could find that the progress bar is actually shown up on the phone as well as in the Odin application as shown here. So at this moment the files are actually being transferred from the device to the from the computer to the device. do make a note of the following step after this once this firmware update is completed you would find that the phone is going to actually reboot 
following which you would be in the new firmware version next you need to get the phone into the recovery mode in order to do that you need to long press on the volume up key and the home button following which you need to press the power on key once it is done the phone is into the recovery mode wherein you need to select the wipe data or factory reset option and then select wipe cache partition once you do this you need to again reboot the phone and then enjoy the features of this latest ice cream sandwich 4.0.3 so that's the basic tutorial on how you could proceed with the installation let's complete uh, wait for completion of this so that you can get a complete idea on what's shown up in this message section the process is actually about to complete it's almost done at around 70 to 80 percent progress As you can see, there is a new update here. Once the whole process is completed, you would see a message saying pass, which is done here. It shows that all threads are completed and succeed is one. So now the phone is actually rebooting. You would see that there is a small progress bar again with the Android Robo on the top, which is the ice cream sandwich one. And the phone is actually booting up in the ice cream sandwich version. It will take initially a few minutes for the phone to boot up because it is running for the first time hence all the settings would be activated and would be set so once the phone is booted as mentioned earlier you need to switch it off or power off again and then proceed with the final step that is the recovery mode option and delete the wipe cache partition option select the wipe cache partition option so that's it for now. In order for more tutorials, check out AndroidDevices.com or make sure you set subscribe to our channel at Devices Media. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.